Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to episode 5 in the Purifier New Start High Damage Fun Build series. In this episode, I'll be getting to level 50, I'll be completing the base game, I'll be finishing off all but one of the shrines in the base game, and doing a bunch of other stuff. I'm going to nip across quickly and get a... Actually, let's just do this. What I was talking about, that's no use to me whatsoever, but I'm going to stick it on that gun anyway until I get something better. Right, I'm going to go to Burrits Village and run east to East Marsh. Get a shrine before moving on. I know there's other reasons to come to this area later, but for now, we'll go grab the shrine. You get here. There's the Burrits Village Rift. That's where I am. You have to clear the rubble with one dynamite, repair the bridge, 10 scrap, 8,000 iron bits. Then you pretty much run as far to the east as you can. Level 41, point physique. Yeah. Shrine's just up ahead. There's the bridge we repaired. It's all the way over here. There's also a nice boss to kill. There he is. What I'm going to do now is start working on the Hawk Devotion. It's just a three-pointer down here. That's the one where you end up with the minus 10% cunning requirement for ranged weapons, which is great to have. And I'll record the totem fight just in case something nice drops. Ooh, that's nice, plus 31% to all damage. I'll mess around with that in a minute, see if it improves anything. Here's another Celestial Totem, as with the one in the other video. This could go either way. Just on my way to get the shrine in the Port Valbury outskirts area. Looks like I'm going to hit 42 pretty soon.
one more point in physique and let's go just further up in the demolitionist mastery shrine is just up ahead it's a desecrated shrine so in for a fight Oh, that's good. Very nice. Definitely equip that one. More melee fire gear. And that means we've... Oh, okay. Second node on Hawk. One more, we can complete that one. a comment on part four how come all your gear is blue if it's a starter character well because blue gear drops and I equip it sorry that's the way that's the way the game works uh, I'll use it anyway just to keep the fans of blue gear happy I'll just include this boss fight should be quick Joining up with my crazy cult friends. May the light of him. Actually, there's a couple of law notes in here that are worth grabbing. Nice totem to do here. One thing you can do collecting these is you have to collect five in normal, five in elite, five in ultimate. If you leave the quest active, they'll just keep appearing. So if you run around and collect 10 or even 15 in normal, you can just cash a quest in straight away in the later difficulties. It's not even a recommend, it's not a recommendation. It's, um, it's, if, you, if you fancy getting those quests done quick later on, just pick up more than you need in normal. Let's go grab that shrine. I'm also collecting them for a quest, but plenty of them drop in this area, so I can use this one now. Couple more blues. That's quite a nice offhand for a pet build. Petition set's nice but chances of getting every single well all five pieces drop in one run through in normal I'd say is unlikely. Right let's finish the Hawk constellation off. You got a lot of options now. I think in the video I did I probably did uh, what do I do next? I don't know. You can grab that. That's a good one. 
You can stick a point in purple and get Rowan's crown. Or you can start putting that points in that were the ranged one. I'll probably go I'll probably go Rowan's crown just so I've got that additional resistance reduction floating around. Yeah, I'll do that one next I think. Little bit of a boss fight just up here. Bolivar, he spawns in random locations around here. See, I've already got five of those, but they're, they're still marked on the map, even though I've got enough for the quest. Told that I could not agree more when the Legion was forced to abandon forty three physique and yeah, let's just finish finish this off while I'm still getting th three points per level up. Because once you go past fifty and are only getting two, that'll slow right down. <laughs> a fire damage relic don't like that one though although the plus one to all skills and demolitionist kind of makes up for the fact that it would have a skill on it that I wouldn't use we'll see just had a quick jog up to Darkvale um, get this shrine and open up the the rift before I go and finish off whatever I was doing around Homestead not much more to do down there I don't think um, let's do Zarya before we do the shrine I think a pendant is a pet thing. Yeah, pretty much. Make sure you get the shrine before you go in there, because if you go in there you can't get back out. What I'll do, I need a point in purple to come down and get Rowan's crown, so I'll do that now. Yeah, and I can start putting points into that and get that on one of the, the Inquisitor attack skills. These are still dropping, I've got nine. What I think I'll do is I'll get the tenth one and then cash it in. And when I get to Elite I can just cash the quest in straight away when he gives it to me. we go, level 44, physique, and three points in there. Here comes the Carol's fight, not expecting this to be particularly difficult.
There you go. See what's in his chest. Another one of those. This quest should get me to 45. Why do you have such a grim look on you? Let's see. I'll be no. damned. If the bastards pull this off, we may as I've already informed. You're here with the cultist. Another point in physique, and we'll finish off demolitionist. Stick a point in brimstone. Just approaching the Astakhan Valley Rift, and there is a shrine very close to this. There's also a nicely hidden lore note with quite a lot of XP on it. I'll get the lore note first so I don't forget it. I think you get 2000 or something from this. <clears throat> yep, there you go. Right, I've got the purple node. I'm going to start sticking points in Rowan's crown. Two more, and we'll have that effect that I'll stick on, well one of my attack skills that automatically sets off when I'm firing. What I'll do now is backtrack just a little bit now that I've got the Astakhan Valley Rift open go and finish off the Hidden Path quest. This won't open unless you've got these in your inventory but once it's open you don't need them again. Final boss in here, the Bismail boss. I'm pretty sure it's the Bismail one that always has pet stuff on the pants he drops. Pretty sure. I'll just clear the spiders out there first. That's the one with the pet stuff on it. So when you kill the third boss you get an attribute point. When you complete the quest later on you get a skill point. I'll do that in a sec. Stick that into physique. Read his lore note. Loot his chest. And if you're sensible you'll just bail out. And go and complete complete the quest. If you're not sensible, you can go in here and have a look at the Mad Queen. This can be a very hard fight, and also possibly a last. <laughs> She's very dangerous.
Well, the game thinks she's harder than Alchemos. She's pretty tough. Right, I've got to finish the Hidden Path quest now. Hidden Path quest continues in the East Marsh area. You know, where you have to repair the bridge and come over. That's where I got the shrine by that doggy boss. This is the last door here and you need all three of these things. And once you open this, they disappear out of your inventory. Another good reason to come in here. Eldritch Totem. This could be fun. There'll probably be a whole bunch of those really big fiery things come out of it. With a bit of luck. myself one node closer to that. Okay, boss fight through that gate. What I'll do is what I recommend, stick a rift down here. He's quite tough. If you die, you don't have to walk all the way back. much it usually something spawns in here yeah. here's the end of the quest I get my skill point nice leveled up got an extra skill point so I have four before I do that, let's just loot that. Go and get this stuff behind this wall as well. Usually a load of stuff spawns in here. physique points in. Should have four skill points now. Alright, what are we going to do with these? Let's put a couple in there so I've hit a bit harder. And point in there. We want something that we can stick elemental what's it on? Stick it on bursting round, I think. So we've got a few more points than that, get it up to its 20% chance. Doing a rover's bounty quest. I've got, um, where are they? Yeah, I've got respected. I'll just try and get up to honoured so I can get some of the stuff in that bracket of their shop. So the mission is to slay three skeletal golems. 
this should sort it. There you go. I haven't had a gun drop in ages. Well, a decent one. I mean, I've still got those things that I've been lugging around since the early 20s. I mean, that says level 40, but it's because of that manticore venom. The other reason for getting to Honoured, I think the main reason, is this quest. This is the one to sort out Mogdragon's Shrine. Meanwhile, at the shop, in honoured, you've got yeah, you've got that applied to rings and amulets. Plus eighteen percent elemental damage, ten percent resistance. So that will give you thirty. So what we do is grab. <laughs> that was if you go to the right thing. Grab three of those. Make sure I'm going to keep all that. Yeah, pretty much. See, damage is going up. Got over 4k on that now. My elemental resistance mostly sorted out. So that's put 30% on, hasn't it? you got to watch it when you buy stuff off Rovers, though, that the benefits aren't just to pets, because some of them are. <laughs> And you can put them on your stuff and think you're getting benefit and you're not. Just keep an eye out for that. Not looking too bad. Pearson's still a bit garbage. I can get some bits and pieces. Oh yeah, I've got a minor chest armour upgrade. It's got some nice elemental damage bonuses on it and some decent resistances. But that plus 5.2 energy regen, that's sorted out. Because my energy was running out as I was putting more points into the fire strike skills. But that's sorted that out for now without me having to put ectoplasm or anything on anything. That's ectoplasm. It's boost your energy regen plus three, but I mean I got 5.2 off that. So that's good. One thing I forgot to mention, <laughs> slipped my mind in all the in all the excitement. When you get to honoured, like. make sure you buy one of these things from any faction vendor once you hit honoured. And what that'll give you is a 50% bonus to any reputation you earn. So yeah, so as soon as you hit on it, go and grab that. Rovers is the only one I've got at the moment. I respected with Rovers, one of the blueprints that they'll sell you is a blueprint to make restless remains. Now, because I'm obsessed with attack damage converted to health on this build, I'll get myself one of those. Stick it on there. Another three percent attack damage converted to health. The plus two twenty energy in the casting speeds are relevant. It's the um, attack damage converted to health that's the, the reason for that. <laughs> Don't get killed out there. Yeah, I'll try not to, mate. This quest, Rowari Legacy. Eventually, you get a devotion point. For restoring Mogdragon's shrine. You've got to go into two chaos rifts. There's one here and there's one miles away the other side of Fort Icon. And you go in here and you collect an item. This marked there. <laughs> Luckily it's close by. It's marked with a star. For now I'm just gonna grab this and stick it in the stash so I won't need it for a while. Two ways to get out of here. Three, I suppose. One way is find the exit, one is to quit the game, and one is to die. Why not to die? Much later on, there's a level 75 gun you can craft from a blueprint that you can actually buy from a shop. Well, I mean, it's good. the shop's got a chance to sell it. You might have to go in there a few times before you get the, the blueprint. But one of the things that you need, one of the items you need to craft this gun, 
to one of those. So if you if those drop for you, I mean, if you kill a bunch of blood sworn, you're always going to get these things dropped. Don't just sell them. They're not a lot of use on this character, but if you put two of them in stash, then you can create two of these guns once you get the blueprint. And for now, I'll just stick that in there as well. And come back and get that later when I get the other thing. Okay, boss fight coming up. This is the Kaimon's Chosen quest. You get exactly the same quest, pretty much, um, if you join the other faction. Slay the Necromancer's Garden the Ashes. It's like slay someone else and, and get the ashes back. Typical tactic, just in case you die, stick a rift down. When I kill him, I'm going to come back out because there's a hidden area with a shrine, but I'll do him first. I'm assuming the door will let me in. He has got quite a nice weapon. Just grab whatever loot I can and then go and get that shrine. Yeah, don't walk out the door by mistake because you can't get back in. You have to walk all the way back. Shrine's in a hidden area, so you come over here, flip that. I've done a separate video about this, but I'll just show you anyway. in physique. Stick another actually, let's get one of these maxed out. There you go. So that that caps at a 20% chance to be used. So when I get the elemental this elemental storm, I will put that on that thing that's got a 20% chance to be used. Boss fight coming up. This one needs an ancient heart. There you go. If you haven't got one in your inventory, if you've got one in your stash, it'll pick it up from there. Right. It's quite a big step up now. I've actually got fat. Then I'll stick on bursting round. It was but was it bursting round? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's on there, so you can see that. Elemental Storm, 25% chance on attack. So I've got 20% 20, 20 chance of that bursting round, and then 25% chance of Elemental Storm coming up. But watch, it will. It's like a blue cloud. There it is. It's that blue cloud floating around there. What that does, it's got a 1.4 second skill recharge, 5 second duration, so it floats around like a blue cloud doing damage within a 3.5 meter radius of wherever it's hovering. It does elemental damage, burn damage, frost burn, electrocute, and it does 12 reduced targets elemental resistances for 2 seconds. That's separate from the percentage reduction that other stuff does. So you really want, you want one thing that does like a number, like a flat number. So if you've got two, one will cancel the other out, they won't stack, whereas the percentages stack. And as you can see, the next level that goes up to 13 reduced, and it just goes up and up and up. Next stop, Fort Icon. When you get a respected reputation where Kaiman's chosen, you can buy a blueprint that will let you create that thing. It's got always oh, got plus one to all skills and demolitionist on it. I'll just show you it, the crafter guy. 
So it's always got plus one to all skills and demolitionist, and it's always got fire surge, ten percent chance on attack. And it will, it'll, it'll, um, it'll get created with a single affix on it, not a double. Like that one's got meditation on it, but that's a good, that's a good item. It's well worth getting the blueprint for that. Couple of things to do in this rift on the plains of strife. Get the second Moldrigan thing and kill Bane Gargoth for Kaimans. Forty-eight. Zeke. Here's the second item for the Moldrigan quest. And to get to old Bane, what's it? You've got to go over to the east. Sorry, the west. As far as you can find a, another rift. This one. Here we go, here's old Bane what's it. Once you've got these two things and an ancient heart, which can just be sitting in stash, head back to the Mogdragon shrine that had the bad guys by it. What's going to happen when I restore that is it, it, it won't immediately restore. What it will do is it will spawn a couple of waves of bad guys. So we'll just give them a little welcoming party. There you go. So it needs those two things and an H and heart. Let's level up before I do anything else. One of them. Yeah, see those things have gone out of the inventory now. Let's go... Let's stick a point in there. And a point in there. And a point in there. What's happened now is good old avatar of Mogdragon has spawned. You've got to talk to him before you get your devotion point. And a whole load of rovers rep, which again is has got a, that's showing what you what you get before the 
writ plus fifty percent is added onto it. That's quite good for chest armor actually. What you can do is you can get into an argument with him and start a fight with him. I'm not going to do that right now because I'd probably get killed. And stick my devotion point in. I'm going to finish this off because I need the purple. What's purple? Ascendant. I need the ascendant point so I can start putting points into this. The last one's quite good. Bane Gargoth, that's the dude. Shame, that's not great. <laughs> Gun would have been nice, mate. Haven't you got any guns? No, it doesn't. I can't do anything more for them until I get to honoured. Right, let's go and stop the summoning of the Log Horian. We'll go do that. But before I do that, there are two more shrines to grab in this area. <clears throat> one's quite close, one's in the Dark Sepulchre, Black Sepulchre, some kind of sepulchre. Right, so that should be Rowan's Crown complete, and then that will free up. So I can start putting points in that, but what I might do is get this first for even more reduced elemental resistance on target. Although that will give me more... Um, yeah, I need that and that before I can get into this. 8 red, 15 green. Here I am in the Black Sepulchre, heading towards the Shrine, which is sort of protected by a poison mini-boss, one of these guys. <coughs> there he is. Plagius, or Pl I think it's, it's got to be Plagius, hasn't it? Plagius, whatever. He's decrepit. He'll be dead in a minute. Yeah, you can't shoot through walls, mate. He's dropped his mark. Yeah, it's a big vitality damage thing. Here's the shrine. Grab that. Oh, nice. Yeah, what I'll do, because you've got some options here. You can do that first. Grab that if you've got health issues. If you want to buff your offence. There's offensive ability, more offensive ability. 50% all damage, attack speed buff. Attack damage converted to health. A whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to do this one next. Get that done. Then get that one, then get this, and maybe do that last. So I want to get that because it's fun. Right, we'll go get log. Should be no problem whatsoever. At all. See what happens when I get there. But I'm saying no problem whatsoever. Right, ahead is the Blood Lord Thalanis fight. We kill him and you open up the doorway into the final boss fight. What I would say is, if, you, if you're watching this and you've not, say you're a new player and you haven't got to this point in the game, you might want to um, skip ahead. What I'll do, I'll put a, I'll put a timestamp or two in the description so you can skip past this because you, you know, I mean, some people who were, play, who, who were watching this might not have played the game to this point 
might want to actually experience it for themselves fresh without seeing me do it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll say spoiler alert from this point and I will put a, a skip ahead timestamp in so you can jump past this fight and just watch me leveling up and doing whatever at, at the end of it like once I've got past the spoilery stuff. So here we go. Spoiler alert over. This, this is this is now entering the realms of the end of the vanilla game, the end of the base game. Here we go, final boss fight. My prediction, I don't know, 15 seconds? <laughs> no, it's gonna be quite quick. Either way, it will be quite quick. Yeah, I'll run a timer on that when I watch it back. It wasn't 15, but it was pretty quick. Come on, give me some good stuff. Oh, I've had that before, that's boring. Are we even going to get your unique shoulders? Please give me your unique shoulders. No. Oh well. And that's that. Right, what's the bet that the level 50 item I get as a quest reward will be some garbage and won't be a decent gun? If it's a decent gun, because there are a few level 50 guns that would be really good, legendaries, it won't be though. It will be a vitality ring or some pet thing. or It's not going to be a gun. It's absolutely not. If it's a gun, if I get a decent gun, I'll go and I'll go and log on as one of my hardcore level 100s and and suicide it. There you go. Promise. So our great moment of triumph yeah. is soured with There was no way it was going to be a decent gun. Defeat the necropolis marks what did I say? It'll be some vitality thing. Yeah. Well, maybe I said ring, not thing, but Good, you're back. I struggled. You see the Luminaria have long been a Excuse me, my father and I were part of a small group. Ooh, almost 50. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go and... I'll go and get shot of that. Because that, otherwise I'll just be hanging around in my entry. Actually, let's... I'll go and do a bit of Ugden Bog. Gloom mold, whatever. I'll at least open it and get to the first rift. And then it, this will get me to level 50 with a bit of luck. So I can do the level 50 level up. And it's a good good point to finish this video. course this area now is a lot higher level because this is act five doesn't tell you it's act five but that's kind of what it's known as oh 
Oh, one thing. Devotions, I should have 20, yeah, 29. So the, the only one I think I didn't get back there was the one in the Bastion of Chaos because you need 40 scrap and I've only got 37, so I can't even do it. I get more scrap, I'll go back and get that one. That was the only one I missed. Like I said, I'll get I'll get to level 50 and I'll get to the first rift. And then I'll quit this video because it's, it'll be a good good point to stop and there's 50 and there's the rift let's just get to that and I'll level up at the rift there we go right so level 50 is the last level where you get three points from 51 to 90 you only get two and from 91 to 100 you only get one skill point what are we going to do let's buff this up there you go that's it what i might do because this is going to start taking longer and longer to level up until i'm revered with malmouth and i can start buying xp potions which won't be for a while what I might start doing is doing these videos in blocks of five levels just so I can get them out quicker because it will take me longer to do it but hopefully I can keep the videos coming quite quickly. Hope you enjoyed that one. Hope you're enjoying the series and if you are, see you in the next one.